One of our original disruptors, Spotify, going public via direct listing on the New York Stock Exchange. Today, the New York uh, Stock Exchange set the reference price for shares at uh, $132 last night. Now, joining us now to break down the difference, this is important, between this process and a traditional IPO is Kathleen Smith. She's the founder of Brandon Capital. She provides institutional pre-IPO and IPO ETF research. And good morning to you. So what the heck is this? Uh, we've tried to explain this before, but I don't know if we've ever really done a, a good enough job. It'll be, Spotify will be public, but it's not an IPO. It's a listing, and it's a listing of a very big company. We haven't seen a company of this valuation possibly since the Alibaba IPO in 2014, but it is a, a listing, so we're looking at valuation. A lot of value to enter the marketplace, and it's going to happen today. A very important day. Okay, but, and, and but what is the value just out of interest? That will be the most important uh, question that we have today, because there isn't an IPO price. Now, there's a reference price, but the stock could really trade anywhere between $100 a share So I'm an investor. I should buy it at any price. I, well, I don't know the value. No investor should just buy at any price. It, it's, the company is leaving to the marketplace to determine what the okay, but how does this how does this work so this morning if i want to if i want to own some spotify today and i could call my broker and go or go on e-trade or whatever it's going to be what am i doing just what just what's well, happening you'll here you'll be able to see a trade trading price and i think the issue is just like anything do you think it's worth the price at which it's trading so you need to translate that into a valuation that you feel comfortable with makes no so, money very competitive market Lots of competition. There are. Who's the first person that has to decide the price? The market maker? It is going to be the market maker looking at, you know, with any um, IPO and any, any company, there's a supply demand period, and then ultimately fundamentals take over, especially with the IPO process. So the, early on with this, will be a lot less fundamentals and a lot more, you know, what... The psychology trading. of it all, but let's yeah. talk about the trading piece because one of the things that's happening, my understanding, as a function of this listing, is that employees can get out. It used to be that the reason people had an IPO, one of the reasons you had an IPO process is people had, were s stuck for, to some degree holding on to the shares for 180 days, sometimes longer. In this case, it's going to be a free-for-all. I know, that is a very big risk. In fact, 91% of the shares of the value of Spotify is freely tradable today. And all sellers, all sellers. Well, not everyone may sell today, but Where, where is that price? Sell. Where is that price occurring in the private market per share? Well, about. the private market's about to be over with. Right, but where, where's the valuation been? Oh, it has ranged, around. it's been a wide range between maybe $99 and $130 a share. So, so it is a reference point of some sort. Some sort. It's a private market, and it's not like in the public market, you know, the volume at which those trades have been done. But I'm thinking there's some man or woman in New York today that works for a firm that's going to make a market on the first trade, and he or she is going to have to decide to, to actually put the capital of the company at risk at some price. They're either going to be a hero or a zero by the end of the day. Because if they get this wrong, that firm's going to lose a lot of money. There, there are a lot of risks in this approach. Uh, clearly, the traditional IPO, it has a lockup uh, of shares to control right. it. It has an over-allotment option. That helps in stabilization. None There's of none that, of that. None of that is None of that. No. By the way, right. you would ask the question, it, just, in, just in 2017, these shares have traded from between $37.50 all the way to $125. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of spread you're talking about. you're a little about. nervous if you paid the over $100 price for it today. Yippee-io. Yeah. Let's see how that works. Is there any, okay, just flip the, is there any benefit, usually there's a benefit to getting in at the IPO price, or not always, but sometimes. Is there any, is there any benefit in this type of structure or instance? Well, there may be if you consider the, if the price at which it's trading is an attractive price relative to the value of Let's the company. Let's agree on this. If this is a disaster, you won't see this structure again for 10 years. Well, <laughs> all eyes will be on this structure. Okay. And we find it interesting that the company that is disrupting the music industry would be doing something that's somewhat no, disrupting that's a good point. Wall Street. So okay. it is going to be a very important day. I mean, perhaps we'll learn right. some things from this direct listing. Kathy, thank you. Thank good you. to see you. Appreciate it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.